Romania acquired new military technology from South Korea including K-9 howitzers and K-2 tanks. Defense relations between Romania and South Korea are marked by recent agreements that underscore their mutual commitment to military modernization and defense cooperation. Specifically, Hanwha Aerospace of South Korea is in discussions for a contract worth about 1 trillion won, approximately $725.7 million, to supply K-9 howitzers to Romania. This would be the first major defense contract between the two countries, with significant implications for strengthening Romanian defense capabilities. Additionally, in 2021, a memorandum of understanding was signed between Hanwha and the Romanian State Defense Company for the export of the K-9 self-propelled howitzer and infantry fighting vehicles, marking the beginning of a long-term collaboration in technology and logistics support. In a parallel commitment, South Korean Defense Minister Shin Won-sik met with Polish Deputy Defense Minister Paul Beja. Their discussions reportedly focused on an imminent contract for Hanwha Aerospace to supply an additional 70 Chumu rocket artillery units worth $1.6 billion, following Poland's substantial $22 billion weapons purchase from South Korea. In 2022, Poland signed a substantial agreement with South Korea for the purchase of military equipment worth $22 billion, representing the largest arms sale in South Korea's history. This agreement includes more than 150 K-9 Thunder self-propelled artillery units, 288 Chunmu multiple rocket launchers, and a significant order of K-2 Black Panther main battle tanks. In addition to these equipment purchases, the two nations have engaged in collaborations on military exercises, thus enhancing interoperability and mutual understanding between their armed forces. The K-9 Thunder is a South Korean self-propelled 155mm howitzer designed and manufactured by Hanwha Defense. Developed to meet the operational requirements of the Republic of Korea Armed Forces, the K-9 boasts a maximum firing range of approximately 40 km using standard NATO ammunition and can achieve up to 60 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. Its design emphasizes high mobility, rapid response, and survivability with the capability to fire three rounds in 15 seconds for shoot and scoot tactics, which minimizes the system's exposure to enemy fire. The K-239 Chunmu, also known as the Korean Multiple Launch Rocket System, KMLRS, is a highly versatile artillery system developed by Hanwha Defense, capable of firing a variety of munitions including guided rockets and missiles. It offers a rapid-fire solution capable of launching salvos that cover a wide area, effectively engaging enemy targets at various ranges. The system can house up to 12 tubes for 239mm rockets or two pods of four 130mm rockets each, providing flexibility and firepower in a variety of combat scenarios. The Chummu is designed for quick deployment and high mobility to match the operational pace of modern warfare ensuring compatibility with various international missile and rocket systems. These initiatives are complemented by technology transfers and training programs, where Polish engineers and technicians receive training in South Korea to ensure the effective maintenance and operation of the acquired equipment. This cooperation attests to the commitment of both countries not only to strengthen their national security, but also to promote peace and regional stability in the face of growing security challenges. President Yoon suk yeol hosted his Romanian counterpart, Klaus Iohannis, for a summit and pledged to increase cooperation in the defense industry, including joint production of weapons, a statement said. South Korea's Defense Minister Shin Won-sik separately hosted Poland's Deputy Defense Minister Paul Beda, amid reports of an impending contract for Hanwha Aerospace to supply additional weapon systems and negotiations over financing. Last year, the company signed a memorandum of understanding with Romania's state-run defense company to export its K-9 self-propelled howitzer and infantry fighting vehicle. Negotiations and contracts are taking place as South Korea leverages Russia's invasion of Ukraine to increase its market share in Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Amid these expanding military ties, 
The South Korean parliament has taken steps to facilitate these large-scale deals by easing restrictions on state export financing, aiming to smooth the path for future agreements. South Korea's ambitions are not only focused on expanding market reach, but also on deeper integration with potential and existing partner nations in the defense sector. This strategic positioning is crucial as South Korea seeks not only to enhance its defense capabilities, but also to secure a more influential position on the global stage amidst intensifying geopolitical tensions.